I first came to know about Pogo through our family's experience with childhood cancer. 29 years ago, our son, who was then nine months old, was diagnosed with hepatoblastoma and came under the superb care of Mark Greenberg and his team at SickKids. Uh, he's uh, thankfully led a very uh, normal life uh, and, and uh, it's the kind of death that uh, one can never properly repay. We got to know Pogo through uh, Pogo's aftercare program at, uh, at Sick Kids. Uh, we've kept in touch with it. We've watched Pogo grow, although from afar. And as I become more familiar with Pogo today, it's wonderful to see the vibrant organization it's become. Two things have resonated me, uh, with me as I've watched Pogo over the years and as I see it up close today. The first is the degree to which it has been able to lead and bring together all those who do pediatric uh, oncology in Ontario. And the second is the absolute dedication of the people both in Pogo and in pediatric oncology around Ontario. It is extraordinary to see the commitment that they all bring to the task of making families uh, journey through childhood cancer easier. There are challenges going forward at, uh, for Pogo, but all challenges are in a way opportunities. I think the challenges ahead are to continue to do cutting edge science in the benefit of families of children with cancer with resources that will continue to be limited and to find all the new ways that POGO and its teams will find as necessary to best serve the interests of the families. But with everybody pulling together, I'm absolutely certain we'll succeed. As we go forward, Pogo's track record of 30 years that empower it to, to do so much in the future will continue to allow it to serve as a model for the delivery of childhood cancer care, both for Canada and for the rest of the world.